Hey, what's up, people? I'm here in Auckland, and I'm with Misery. She's a designer and an artist, and we're going to find out everything we can about her. Tell us about your style and how it evolved. Um, well, I, I definitely had this certain big head, big eyes, often cross-eyed, cutesy, kind of a mean, nasty character thing going on, and that sort of has grown for me. I guess over the past five years and when I started doing graffiti art and doing a lot of characters around the street I guess that's when that kind of style really began. I used a lot of inks and shellacs and I was really just testing how I felt comfortable painting and um, yeah that style's just got a lot cleaner and I guess more, um, I don't know, more formed and perfected I guess for me. How did graffiti art influence your style? Um, I think that it was probably not graffiti art as such but just the way graffiti art was done like I really took to going out and doing something like you get this kind of rush from going and doing something naughty that you're not allowed to do so going out and making something beautiful on the street and putting it there for everybody but you weren't really allowed to that was a really cool thing. seeing a lot of toys here, so the toys have a big influence on you? Yeah, big time. I've always, always loved my toys and um, especially like in the last few years I've noticed how big designer toys have become or art toys, so yeah. that's been really exciting for me and yeah, that's I've been waiting for ages for a toy company to come and go, Miss, I even want to make toys with you and I'll go, like, yeah, okay, Why and it's we? finally happened, so I'm absolutely stoked and it's, yeah, it's been my dream for a long time because I really am just a big kid, I just want to make playgrounds and toys and have fun and blah, blah, <laughs> so it's cool, I'm so stoked on it, I can't wait. So tell us what it has all evolved into, just this art of yours. Um, well, after I started doing Misery Around the Street and stuff, I soon after started working with Illicit, um, my friends Marty and Steve and Christine at Illicit Clothing, and I did t-shirt designs with them, and we started doing some fashion pieces as well, which went really well, because I think um, they didn't really have any girl artists involved with Illicit before, so it kind of fit nicely. I think it was something they were looking for, and it sort of evolved from there and got got its sort of own strength and was heading in a different direction to what Illicit was about, so we decided to separate the labels and we made Misery its own label because I wanted to do something a bit more pretty, and yeah. <laughs> pretty ball gowns and frocks and stuff like that. And um, last year, just before Christmas, we opened the Misery Boutique, and that was an idea that I'd had for, I'd been thinking about for a couple of years, how much I'd like to have my own little shop and put all my characters and paintings and just all my things that I customise into the store. So we did that and it's been going really well. What drives you? What, what you know, is it the hard work? What, what gets you going? Um, well, I think I just, I really, really love making art and characters and designing. I love it and that's what drives me, you know. If I don't think anyone should do a job that they don't enjoy doing and I really love every day that I get to do this so that's really cool. Have you got any advice for up and coming artists that want to head in the same direction as you? Um, I guess I get lots of emails from kids that are at art school or at high school and they want to pursue an art career and stuff and they're all worried and nervous and don't know what to do and I guess I just tell them to follow through with what they really believe is the right thing to do. Like. Um, when I left school I thought oh you have to go to art school and you know do this degree and blah 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 and I don't think it's always necessary I think that if you know in your heart how you make art and how you want to do it then just pursue it like just don't give up and don't like there's heaps of teachers or people that kind of look down on that sort of career mm -hmm. and will kind of go yeah. oh, it's so hard and you've got to be really amazing blah, blah blah you don't have to you just have to work really hard and be motivated and know that you want to do it so just keep going show everybody what you do and try and meet and ask advice from as many people as possible. Thank you for taking the time out to, to talk with us here at Tuhono and inspire us to what can actually happen if you put your heart and your mind to everything. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming to visit me in my little room. <laughs>